Now next diseases are the AIDS and cancer. AIDS is acquired immunodeficiency syndrome which is caused by HIV which is human immunodeficiency virus which is a retrovirus that is it is an RNA virus. Transmission of it will be by sexual contact with a uh, infected person sharing infected needles that is unsterilized uh, needles or as in case of intravenous drug abuses and transfusion of contaminated blood infected mother to child uh, through placenta and time lag between infection and appearance of symptoms will be few months to many years nearly 5-10 years so sexual contact with infected person and the, you should never have multiple sex partners or unprotected sexes and this is the main reason why AIDS is spreading uh, very fastly vigorously nowadays and how does the infection spread the virus will enter the body of a person and then will enter the macrophages now here the virus will replicate vi viral RNA will reverse transcript to viral DNA which gets incorporated into the host DNA and it will be the new viral particles uh, producing agents so it will be very similar to our DNA it is going to reverse transcript and become the DNA itself and it is going to mix with the blood and then start getting multiplied so this is the cycle how the retrovirus is going to get converted to DNA now these macrophages will become a virtual HIV factory and thereafter HIV will help the I mean will enter the T lymphocytes and replicates and then will produce progenies of it and as the progenies are released they are going to attack the T lymphocytes and therefore T lymphocytes will start decreasing in number immune response of the person will become weak and even infections which could be overcome easily will start aggravating aggravating is like sun sun allergies go kuda non responsive agate deha anta diagnosis of AIDS is by ELISA which is enzyme linked immunosorbent assay and then treatment is that there is no permanent cure for this and anterior sorry anti anterior viral therapies for a prolonged time of uh, the entire life of the patient should be done for this so prevention is better than cure how to prevent this ensuring use of disposable syringes and screening bloods from blood banks advocating safe sex and NACO which is national AIDS control organization and many NGOs are doing a lot of creative I mean lots to create awareness amongst the people about the seriousness of the AIDS and HIV nowadays next is the cancer so what is ba cancer basically it is a process where the development uh, sorry it is the oncogenic transformation okay so normal cells will have property of contact inhibition which is the stoppage of growth on coming in contact with other cells but the cancer cells will lose this property and they will grow even with the unwanted cells um, come in contact with them now as a result cancer cells will divide continuously to give rise to a large mass of cells which is tumor now tumors are of two types benign and malignant so benign tumors are less harmful because they will not spread they remain confined to original location and they are not going to spread to the other parts of body wherein it can be removed and the patient can recover easily malignant tumors are those which exhibit metastasis which is the cells are slowed from such tumors which reach distant sites and wherever they reach new tumor is formed like um, few people uh, people with malignant breast cancers will be also prone to the vaginal cancers very easily because the easy transportation of these cells will affect the whole reproductive system of a female ultimately causing the vaginal cancer so this is how malignant tumors will spread they actually represent cancer and the cells will actively divide grow and starve the normal cells for vital nutrients now causes for cancer is carcinogens wherein physical chemical and biological agents uh, will cause cancers example ionizing radiations so over exposure to the radiations will cause radiational cancers non ionized radiations which are the ultraviolet rays will also cause cancers and oncogenic so cancer causing viruses they have viral oncogenesis so these are the cancer causing genes and sometimes normal genes in our body called the proto oncogens will also convert into cellular oncogens and then cause the cancer and some of your uh, genetical history may also I mean the heredity from may also cause cancer 
Diagnosing cancer is by biopsy and histopathological studies wherein biopsies are suspected tissues uh, wherein they are cut into thin sections and examined for um, the malignant, I mean the cells, the tumor cells microscopically and radiography wherein CT scans, computed tomography and MRI, magnif magnet magnetic renaissance imaging are the techniques to uh, help us diagnose cancer. Now what is CT scan? It is a 3D imaging of internals of the organ which is generated by x-rays and that is the main reason pregnant women are banned from uh, getting exposed to the CT scans because it is x-rays and it is very very dangerous for fetus. Next is the MRI scan wherein pathological and physiological changes in living tissues are detected using magnetic fields and non-ionizing radiations. Now immunological and molecular biological diagnostic techniques can also be used to detect the cancers and identifying certain genes which will make an individual susceptible to cancers can help prevent cancers. Treatment for cancers is by radiotherapy wherein tumor cells are radi irradiated to death and the high, uh, volt, I mean high frequencies of the radiations are introduced so that the tumor cells will be killed. And also proper care is taken for protecting the surrounding normal tissues. So, if a brain nalli vandu tumor idandre, only this part will be burnt, okay? And the remaining part will be made sure that it is not going to get affected. Next is the chemotherapy, wherein drugs specific for particular tumor are used to kill the cancer cells, and they have side effects like hair loss, anemia, etc. Immunotherapy. So this is the biological response modifiers such as alpha interferons are used and they will activate the immune system of the patient which will help destroying the tumor. Andre, this is where our body's immunity is artificially built to destroy the tumor, immunotherapy. Now commonly abused drugs, opanoids which is the heroin, the source is the acetylation of morphine extracted from the latex of poppy plants that is papaver seminiferum. So next it is consumed by snorting or by injection. So this is a abusive drug wherein uh, usage of this will cause cancers and other variable diseases very easily. And properties of it is white, bitter and it is odorless. Mode of action is it will bind to the opioid receptors which are present in the CNS and the gastrointestinal tract. Next is the cannabinoids. So the source is inflorescences of pan uh, plant cannabis sativa and these are consumed by inhalation or oral injection again this is a drug mode of action is it will bind the cannabinoid receptors present in the brain and affects the cardiovascular system next is the cocaine very commonly known one brown sugar the coca plant which is the erythroxylum coca which is found in south america is used for this and this is by snorting and mode of action is interference with transfer of neurotransmitter which is the dopamine sorry dopamine and effects of it is it will stimulate the CNS and the over stimulation of uh, CNS is done producing sense of euphoria that is increased energy and excessive dosages can cause hallucination too. So you do, now the inhale maadi dash too you get more energy uh, it gives more energy and you will never know what you are going to do in that excitement. Now drugs normally which are used as medicines are barbiturates, amphetamines and Benzo, sorry, benzodiazepines and LSDs which are the lysergic acid diethyl amides which are used as medicines to help patients with mental illness and insomnia. So these are the drugs which will help us come out of the insomnia and mental illness disease. Morphine which is a painkiller which is used for patients who have undergone surgeries but it is also an abusive drug. Now nicotine, so present in tobacco which is smoked, chewed or snuffed. So mode of action is it will stimulate the adrenaline gland releasing the adrenaline and non-adrenaline. Non now effect is it will increase the blood pressure and heart rate. Next effects of smoking, increased risk of diseases like bronchitis, emphysema and coronary artery disease, gastric ulcers and cancers which is throat cancer, lung cancer, urinary bladder cancer are caused by smoking only and increased carbon monoxide levels in bread will lead to oxygen deficiency. 
Now, alcohol or drug abuse. So, alcohol or drug abuse normally starts in adolescence, where in a period of 12 to 18 years and transition phase between childhood and adulthood. Now, many of the adolescents are motivated towards drugs, alcohol due to curiosity and experimentation, just to see what it is and they get addicted to it. Now, peer pressure, academic stress, unstable family structure, future inclined youth towards alcohol, drug abuse. So, this is... Um, what mainly causes the uh, children or the adolescents to get addicted to these. Now, perception of consuming alcohol, drug being cool and progressive and use of alcohol or drug in televisions, movies, etc. is further promoting this habit. So, now the bigger people have uh, taken this as a normal procedure and therefore even the common people are going to follow them and which is a very wrong aspect. Now, addiction towards drug or alcohol. Now, when a person uses alcohol or drug repeatedly, he becomes addicted to it. Now, addiction is a psychological attachment, okay, which will affect such as euphoria and temporary feeling of well-being and associated with the use of alcohol or drugs. So, it is a uh, temporary pleasure which we, are, which we are going to get after using these things. But in addiction, tolerance level of the receptors present in our body will increase towards that particular thing. Now, we have fu uh, food cravings like masal dosa or some of the other foods which we like. So, if we start eating that continuously, we will get addicted to that particular food. Similarly, these things are also, but these are dangerous things. And this will drive the person to use them even when they are not required or when they are tend to harm his health or family life. Now, subsequently, user will run into the vicious cycle and of addiction and subsequent dependence. Now, dependence will lead to the manifestation of withdrawal syndrome or discontinuation of the use. So, withdrawal syndrome is anxiety, nausea, sweating, shakiness and sometimes even may be lethal. Lethal is it will cause death also. And effects of alcohol or drug abuse, immediate effect will be vandalism, violence and reckless behavior. So, you will never know what you are doing and drop of academic performance, lack of interest in personal hygiene and rebellious behavior which is you become angry very easily and change in eating and sleeping patterns, weight and appetite fluctuations, mental, psychological and financial loss not only to the user but also to the family. Those who take drugs intravenously have a high risk of acquiring deadly diseases like the AIDS and Hepatitis B because you never know the syringe is sterilized or not and damage to nervous system and the liver causing cirrhosis. Now, use of anabolic steroids by a uh, sports person have adverse effects too and in females it will cause increase of masculinity, aggressiveness, depression, abnormal menstrual cycle, facial hair growth, enlargement of the clitoris and deepening of the voice. Now, in males, it will cause acne, aggressiveness, depression, reduction in size of testicles, decreased sperm production, enlargement of the prostate gland, breast enlargement, premature baldness. And ultimately, prolonged use of the alcohols or drugs is going to lead to death or coma. Now, how to prevent this? It is better to prevent the inclination of an individual towards alcohol or drugs right from the adolescence. So, some ways will be avoid peer pressure. So, understand the unique personality and capabilities of a child so that he will not get into this artificial pleasures. Education and counseling about these, a child must be thought to accept the success and failure equally, especially at the time of adolescence. So, he must be inclined towards constructive activities like music, yoga, sports, reading based on his inter interest. Now, help from parents and peers. So, peers are the uh, close relatives or well-wishers. So, this includes proper guidance, advice and trust to overcome problems like the stress and guilt. Identifying danger signals. So, if any sign of symptom of alcohol or drug abuse is seen, adolescents by family or friends, it should not be ignored because prevention is better than cure. So, the best example which I can state here is usage of mobile phones. Nowadays, every one of us are addicted to the phones so that we don't even have the time to talk to a child. And what ultimately will happen is the child will also get addicted to the phone even while eating. Now, the babies do need a phone for uh, having their time pass. So, this is how 
द जनरेशन और द टेननेस द टेंडेंसी टूवर्ड्स दीज एडिक्शन आर बिकमिंग मोर इवन फोन एडिक्शन इज वेरी डेंजरस बिकॉज इट विल कॉज मेंटल रिटार्डेशन एंड इट इज गोइंग टू डिस्ट्रक्ट योर चाइल्ड um creativity levels okay uh, allow them to imagine get them books let them read and allow them to imagine more so that their creativity will increase and avoid phones for younger kids so that they are not going to get destroyed easily for these addictions and seeking medical uh, sorry medical help psychologists and rehabilitation programs will surely help an addict and medical helps should be sought to prevent further damage so consulting a psychologist doesn't mean you are mentally imbalanced it is just to check your mental ability so go check uh, every frequent uh, at every frequent intervals with a psychologist so that you will get to know where you are existing at your mental stability levels okay thank you